Hello and welcome to my Rubik's 4x4 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to solve the Rubik's 4x4 cube. First, before you learn how to solve the 4x4, you have to know how to solve the regular 3x3 cube. So, for the 4x4, it's the same algorithms with a couple added. There's the R, right side, the U for the upside, D for the downside, L for the left side, B for the back side, and then you always turn it counterclockwise, or clockwise, sorry. If it's U R2, that would be right side, twice. Um, and if there's a dash, it, you turn it counterclockwise once. If it's just a regular R1 letter, like an, a U, you just turn the upside once, clockwise. Now, now then the added notation on a 4x4 is these middle layers. So it's the same exact thing as outer layers except a capitalization. A capital R means the outside. A small r means this inside piece. So if I just say hey, have a little r, I would just turn this the middle right side piece once. Clockwise. If there's both r's, I would turn that whole side. And then there's the little u, which would be this piece, the little d for the middle downside, um, b, the small b would be the middle back, the little f would be for the front side, and then the little l would be for this middle piece. So in this first part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve these centers on the 4x4. In the next step, I'll show you how to solve these middle edge pieces. And then the tutorial after that, I will show you parity. What this is right here is equivalent to this. This is the center of a regular 3x3 three three cube. We're just going to solve it so these are the centers are all solved. So, the way we do that is actually very simple. So now I will show you how to solve the centers now that I have it mixed up. So the first thing we need to do is very easy to do. All we're going to do is get a green center or a center color of your choice for this tutorial. I will use the green side. So the easiest way to do it is find a green piece and then we'll find another green piece. So we'll use this one and if we just turn it up we make this little green bar here. So now we want to find these other, the other green pieces. So they're right here. So we're just going to spin this one and bring this up to make another little bar. And now we have the bar here and bar here. So we're just going to spin this sideways and bring it up to connect it, the two bars, and then you have your green center. And that's essentially what we're going to do for all these other centers. So when you're doing this you need to know what colors are opposite what the color opposite green is blue so we know that the blue center is going to be here and then there's going to be the red center which is opposite of the orange center so the orange would be here red here and then we'd have um, white and yellow are also opposites so we're going to do the, um, the blue center now so green's going to stay on the bottom for this part we have so we already have it set here we have a blue bar we want to find a blue bar so what we do we line the blue bar up so it's straight up and down then we'll bring it up to the top side but we also brought up this green bar with us so we're going to spin the top twice now the blue and the green are not lined up so now we can just bring that green right back down here so then what we'll do, we'll just find the two blue pieces, which are these. Spin the sides, make sure you don't spin the inner layer too when you're spinning, when you're lining up the bars. So we'll just connect those, and now we have them all set. So we're all, then what we do next, we spin the top row, or the side, or this row, this way. That way we have them lined up. So you'll line up your two blue bars, and then you do that same pattern. You'll bring this, the blue bar up to the top, 
but that also knocked out this one and brought this up. So what we do, we spin that upside twice, and we bring that down, and that solves it. I'm going to post the algorithm right here. It's little r, YouTube, little r, reverse. So that's the top and the bottom centers. Next, we're going to get these middle centers. So all you're going to do for this part, see how I have these two bars? What we're going to do, we're just going to get as many as of these as we can. So you'll go through, find bars like this, and you'll turn it sideways. So that way when you're are turning the cube, you won't mess them up. So we're going to connect these bars. And see this yellow and this yellow? Let's go ahead and connect those. So we'll turn this sideways, and then we'll bring it over and connect it. And once we did that, we'll just turn it sideways so we don't mess that up. Then we'll find some another one we can do, like this one, these two oranges. But we can't just turn, turn it like that, because when we turn it, it'll mess up that white and that yellow. So we'll want to make them so when we turn it, it won't make these mess up. So then once we get that, we'll turn it sideways. We'll go ahead and spin that all the way around. Now we can get these two just spin it, bring it over, turn those two sideways. And all we have left is these, this red and the orange. This is nice when you have, on the last part, you have one of the colors in a little L shape. And then the one, that way you can just spin it to whatever or position to match the other piece. So this red, just bring it over, connect those, turn it sideways. So see, now we have the little bars all the way around. So what we'll do, we'll just, um, what we do, we spin it so we can get at least one center. So we have these two centers right here. These two, and then they're opposite right here, these two. What we want to do, we want to get these two centers solved. But we can't do it without messing these up. So what we'll do, we have yellow a yellow bar and a red bar on each side. What we'll do we'll line it up so that the yellow bars are on the bottom row and the red bars are on the top row. Or you could do it the opposite way with red on the bottom, yellow on top. So what you'll do, you'll spin the top twice, then you'll spin either the right side or the left side twice, then spin the top side twice again. Another way that can be put it that where it happens is where it's the right by each other. What you'll do, you'll get them so they're in a line. And you'll just spin it either side, spin the front side twice, bring it over. Now you have your centers all solved. But the centers aren't solved completely yet because they're not all in the right spot. The way we make sure they're in the right spot is you'll get these corners lined up on the green. Then you can just spin them. See how this green, green, yellow, yellow, red, the white. That's wrong. Because see, on the regular cube, you'll have green, green, yellow, yellow, red, red. So the red's here, white's here. We need to switch these two sides. So all we do is the same pattern as we just did, except we add a little thing. We turn, we'll bring this side over once, spin that the front side twice, bring it back over. See, it's the same pattern except you do it twice. So that's U, little u, f2, little u reverse, and then you'll just do it little u reverse, r2, or f2 if you're facing that way, and then little u, little u. So now we have those two lined up. And so we have all of our centers solved. And you'll just do that to switch all the centers. So I hope that you learned how to do the centers. And I will continue the middle edge pieces, which is equivalent to one of these pieces on the Rubik's 3x3, which is one of these. So I'll show you how to solve all of those in my next tutorial.